Good day ladies and gentlemen capsuleers, welcome to a short video about project discovery. In this video I want to explain the difference between centrosomes and microtubule organizing centers alongside the difference with nuclear bodies few and many, which uh, quite a uh, few people seem to uh, misunderstand. So I'm gonna go over a few examples and showcase uh, how you can identify centrosomes and microtubule organizing centers. I hope this will help you um, make informed decisions while doing project discovery. In the first example I'm showcasing centrosomes. As you can see there's double spots in the nucleus which would indicate nuclear bodies. But uh, by using the color channels you can see that there's overlapment of red marker uh, where the double spots reside and this is the defining factor for centrosomes so we can confidently select centrosome and uh, submit the image and as you can see that was the right answer in the next example we have a showcase of a microtubule organizing center again you see a speck within the nucleus which would indicate nuclear bodies but on closer inspection we can see that it is not a single speck but a few and it overlaps with the red marker, which is the defining factor for both centrosomes and microtubal organizing centers. This makes it so that if there's a red marker overlap and there's a diffuse structure of green, you should always check microtubal organizing centers, which as you can see is exactly the right answer here. And again, the green cluster of specs defines the microtubal organizing center here. In the next sample we are looking at another centrosome. As you can spot it now easily, uh, it is two or a single green spot overlapping with uh, the red marker. In this case it's outside the nucleus, it's also sometimes in the nucleus. Um, and if you see the examples, it perfectly showcases the green double spots, which indicates uh, the centrosome here. Now let's move on to a more difficult example of a microtubule organizing center because sometimes the uh, density is actually not dense at all but a bit spread out uh, which is important to keep in mind. Uh, in this case it is not that dense at all but more like spread out speckles just because it overlaps with uh, the red marker which culminates um, right on top of the green we can still be confident that's a microtubule organizing center here. Now let's move on to an even more difficult example. Uh, we have heavy cytoplasm in this example, uh, but there's still some very bright specks to be observed. Um, so I'm going to take a closer look. And when you're looking, you see that the red marker has some uh, points where it comes together. Uh, and if you change quickly between the channel, you can see that there is a collection of spots right on top of the uh, collection of red marker which again is the defining factor of centrosomes and microtubule organizing centers so again in this case even though it's not obvious at first you can confidently select microtubule organizing center because that is one of the structures in this sample in the last sample we're looking at a centrosome again within cytoplasm it's uh, a bit easy to spot here because the red marker is easier to see here. Um, the centrosome is defined by very bright specks and as you can see it quite stands out uh, the cytoplasm in this case, um, which again is the indication for centrosomes. So guys, those were the examples. I hope you have learned the difference between centrosomes and microtubule organizing centers uh, and the difference between those and the nuclear bodies. Um, the trick to differentiate the two is always to check the red marker only and see if there's a collection of red marker where the green speckles overlap it. If that's the case, it's probably a centrosome of microtubule organizing center. You just have to look for those special features and you'll know right away whether you're right or wrong. That's it for today guys. Good luck with project discovery and see you next time. 